Welcome to the Unstuck Podcast. I'm your host, Sean Miner. This weekly no-fluff mindset show arms you with the practical tools you need to get unstuck so you can get exactly what you want out of life. Remember, when you change your mind, your life will follow. Let's get into today's episode. Hey there, friends. Welcome back to Unstuck. Thank you all so much for joining me yet again. Today, I'm sharing with you all my four pillar approach to changing your mindset. This is really just an idea, baby, I guess, that I have had. And I'm so excited to share it with you all. It's kind of the framework for everything I talk about here on the podcast, but then also what we do in the Unstuck Project, which is my new Mindset for Women course that's coming out in a few weeks. And so I just thought it would be a good time for me to share with you what these pillars are and how you can start working on them in your own life, but then also kind of seeing where everything we've done here on the show and will continue to do kind of fits into at least one of these pillars, but often all of them or at least some of them. So you can see how we're kind of building on this framework every single time we talk here on the Unstuck podcast. Before we get into the four pillars, I just want to remind you that if you have had a success story come about with this type of mindset work that we're doing here on Unstuck, I would love and so would all of the listeners to hear your story. There is now a way for you to share your success story for others. Um, I just think it helps so much with this kind of work to hear from other people and their real life experiences and what they were going through and how it changed by working on their mindset. It helps all the other people who are going through something similar or maybe even something totally different, but still they find a similarity or a commonality and it pushes them. It gives them a nudge to continue doing this work, which often can be difficult and challenging to keep up with. So I want to share your story. You can go to seanminer.com slash unstuck podcast, which is the hub for all things podcast related. And it will give you the directions to leave a voice message for me. And I will then tack it on to an upcoming episode. We all want to hear from you. We all want to share in your experience and so tell us your success story. Head over to seanminer.com slash unstuck podcast to learn how to do so. Just a quick one, one to five minutes in length, a little voice message for me. Don't worry. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can mess up as much as you want. We don't care. We just want to hear your story. And secondly, just a brief heartfelt Thank you. A full on gratitude fest over here for everyone who has continued to support this show and share it with a friend or their Instagram feed or their Facebook friends, whoever. You have no idea how much this is helping this show get off the ground. It's a full on community effort. So if you have had any Uh, insights or just really enjoyed an episode, share that episode with a friend or family member. If you are finding the whole podcast to be uh, just what you needed and you know of someone else that might need that too, please share it with them. I would be forever grateful. I am forever grateful. You guys have been amazing. We are building such a strong community here already and I am feeling the love. So thank you all so, so much. It means a ton. All right, let's get into my four pillars. This whole episode is just going to be things I made up, which starts with the quote for the day. Change your mind and your life will follow. If you've been to my website, seanminer.com, you can see that is on the homepage. It's my quote. I just honestly made it up randomly in the middle of a workout, sweaty in the gym. I just kind of came up with it like, oh, this is what I'm doing. I want women to understand that if they change their mind, their life will follow. And that became my quote. And this is now kind of kicking off, I guess, the talk about my four pillar approach to change your mindset. So that's what I'm going to do today. Introduce you to these four pillars. I was not ever planning to come up with any sort of framework or pillar 
thing. I just wanted to teach mindset to women. But I began to teach and then it all just came flowing out. I let it all flow and it flowed into the creation of these four pillars. And then of course, they all ended up starting with A too, which was when I knew it was meant to be. And really, it all happened. I got to the end stages of creating un- the Unstuck Project. And like I have mentioned before, it took me almost a year to create that darn thing. But I had all eight weeks of the course outlined. I had all these Google Docs. Everything was just in a Google Doc, which is how I start all of the things, even the notes to these episodes. Everything starts with a document. So I had all the exercises planned out. I knew what I wanted to say in each audio and video lesson. I was getting ready to organize it all onto the course platform. And then it popped into my head, oh, well, all of these things were kind of doing four specific actions and they're all kind of broken up week by week into one of these actions. Oh, and there's two weeks per action. Well, darn, I must have something going here. And I just am sharing this because I want you to start seeing how your intuition can work for you, especially when you just let things flow and you're not trying to overly control or plan or prepare anything, which trust me, I it's hard. It's very hard to do that. As a business owner, I get it. You want to plan and prepare everything. But for this, I just let it flow and it ended up working out perfectly because my intuition was allowed to come in with that process and give me some really good ideas. And it was all meant to be, of course. All right, let's go through each one. The first one, awareness. So I'm pretty sure I've used the word awareness in every single episode of Unstuck so far. I'd say becoming aware of what's going on in your headspace is at least 75% of the work. I know I have given that number before too, and I'm just making that up. There's no scientific evidence to show that that's true. This is me seeing what needs to be done and knowing that so much of it, the vast majority is just in being aware. So if you do nothing else but become more aware of your thoughts, beliefs, emotions, everything we're talking about here, you are winning the mindset game already. Because once you become aware, you become the one that's in control. You're the one with the power instead of those thoughts, beliefs, and emotions that have been controlling your actions for so long. And again, as we know, a lot of it without us even knowing that's what's going on and not even realizing we have the ability to change it. Awareness is needed in a lot of different facets too. Becoming aware of the constant chatter in your head and what it's saying, which is something we've done here quite a bit. Becoming aware of your limiting beliefs and where they came from. Becoming aware of your two voices, the ego and the intuition. We've talked about it all here already and we will continue to do so on the show. But if you've done even some of the work ideas I've given you from the episode so far, you are already, like I said, winning the mindset game because you are learning how to be aware. So this is the very first pillar. It's the very first step to pretty much all mindset work and really nothing else can be done. The rest of the pillars won't fall into place necessarily the way they should without building awareness. So these build on top of each other. It's not like you can do them all separately. They are building blocks. So awareness is the first pillar, the first building block. The second one is alignment. This is where raising your vibration comes in so that we can become a match for what we want. We've talked about this quite a bit, episode three, episode four, go back and listen if you want, but remember that emotional frequency scale is where alignment comes in, getting to the same high vibration of the things that you want out of life. That's what I call alignment because remember, like attracts like. So if you have a negative thought or emotion, that is going to be in a lower vibration, which means you will attract more lower vibrating things. So 
essentially you will attract what you don't want because I'm assuming you don't want negative things to happen to you. Whereas if you have more positive thoughts and emotions, you attract more positive things that are vibrating at that similar frequency. So you attract the things you do want. And it's also the case where what you think about, you attract. So if you want more money, but you focus all the time on how you can't pay your bills, how you have no money, you don't know what you're going to do, then that is what you attract. You attract more of what you're thinking about. So you are stuck in thinking about what you don't want more than thinking about what you do, which means you're going to get more of what you don't. And this is all under this alignment umbrella. This is where we clean out those old, negative, low vibe emotions, beliefs, thoughts, and actions and replace them with the high vibe ones. And it's also where we get off autopilot and take back control of our lives. And it's where we find happiness now and live in the present moment, which we know is important because of episode eight. All right, so this is where we do all of this under this alignment pillar. Without alignment as a second piece of the puzzle, you will continue to approach life without purpose. Even the awareness pillar that got you started on your mindset path, you will not stay there without alignment. You will go right back to your old patterns. We have to start vibrating at that same frequency as what we want. Now, that being said, you can and perhaps should work on your alignment while still being in the awareness stage. So while awareness is the first building block, you can tack on alignment to it as long as you don't try to bypass the awareness and just go straight to alignment. So you can do them both at the same time, which is encouraged for sure in most cases. All right, the third pillar, action. Take inspired action instead of mindlessly going through the motions of life. What does inspired action actually mean? It is the purposeful, intuitive action, remember we've talked about our intuition a lot, that you take to get closer to the life of your dreams. It's the action you take to deepen your mindset practice, and it's the tools you use to connect with the universe. Basically, any sort of action that you take based on what you hear on this podcast to where you're working on your mindset or anything you do in the Unstuck Project or anything you do that is given to you by your intuitive sense, anything that is taken from that, that is inspired action. What it is not is efforting harder. That is the other option. When you're not taking inspired action, you are efforting. And I think we know by now that efforting harder is not the answer and it will never ever be the answer to anything that's going on. You can't get what you want, whether it's a healthy body, this amazing relationship, more money, or a retirement home on Maui. Whatever it is you want, you cannot get it by focusing on what you don't have. We just talked about this in alignment, but then This also comes to play in action because efforting harder is a symptom of the sense of lack. And so you're trying to get what you want faster, but in the process, you're focusing on not having it yet, which means you only slow down the process of actually getting it. So this is where, again, we have to know what we want and focus on having it not on not having it. And this is something we spend a lot of time doing in the Unstuck Project because it's very hard to do. We are wired to focus on lack, to focus on not having what we want instead of focusing on something that we do want because we don't actually have it yet. It's not actually physically tangible yet. And so it's hard to focus on that and be excited for that and be grateful for that when we don't yet have it but that's what we need to do. That's part of inspired action and that's a really big piece of the Unstuck Project. 
So now we have become aware of our thoughts and beliefs and feelings, and then we have gotten aligned with what we want, with our intuition, and with the universe, with some positive, high-vibe thoughts and emotions. And now we are taking action, inspired action, to get what we want. So we're using that connection with the universe, with our intuition, and with our high vibrations to take action. So now we have the last pillar, which is acceptance. The acceptance pillar is where we find joy and live our lives to the fullest right now. It's the be happy now pillar. Remember, if you don't go back to episode eight, where we talk about that, it is living life in the present moment, regardless of what's going on and finding the good. Now comes the time where we love, respect, appreciate and accept ourselves and all of our circumstances just as they are right now, giving our attention to the present moment while fully trusting that the future holds exactly what's right for us in this very moment. Trust is a big piece of acceptance. And also in the acceptance pillar, we let go of the need to control, fear, hate, restrict, all those negative vibes. We've already started to get rid of those in the previous pillars, but now we let go. We let go. This is a big piece to a lot of what we do on Unstuck, and it continues as part of the acceptance pillar. Now we just have fun, we take proper care of ourselves, and we love the life that we have as it is right now. Doesn't that sound kind of nice? I love the acceptance pillar. I think it's one of my favorites. You just get to have fun and love yourself and take care of yourself. Sounds pretty nice, but unfortunately, one of the things, I think probably the pillar that gets lost or doesn't have enough attention on it the most is the be happy now take care of yourself pillar and we're going to change that here on the show and of course also huge focus on that in the unstuck project coming up in a few weeks so then once you go through all four of these pillars so you kind of take your time going through all of them one by one you just continue to dabble in all of them all the time. They've become part of your existence. They are part now of your life. You are building a lifestyle around these four pillars. You know how each of them feels. You know what each of them requires. And so you just continue on and you get a sense of when you need more in one pillar over the other. So sometimes you may need to spend more time on your awareness. And then sometimes you may need to spend more time in acceptance and you just kind of flow through all of them. And really, a lot of the time you are spending in all four of them at one time, which is perfect and expected. And that's kind of once you learn them all separately and go through the process, then they're all just there. And all four of them are working for you all the time. All right, so there you have it. This is my official framework. And really, every single episode will fall into at least one of these four categories, but probably more than one and quite often all four. So my action item for you today is to evaluate if you have mastered any of those pillars and where you could use more time. So find out where things are going well for you and where things are kind of falling short or maybe you haven't learned enough of that pillar yet to make it happen for you. Let me just go over them real quickly again for you so you can do this homework. Awareness, alignment, action, and acceptance, okay? Where are you lacking and where are you excelling? And if you have found that you need to learn more about one pillar, but maybe all of them in order to master them fully into your own life, well, I'd love to be your coach through those four pillars. If you're ready to take your mindset work to the next level, Get in on the Unstuck Project launching for the first time in just a few weeks after over a year 
of creation and testing and all that stuff. It's ready for you. Head to seanminer.com slash unstuck to learn more and get on the VIP list to be the first to know everything about the launch and even some exclusive offers just for those VIPs. Again, seanminer.com slash unstuck. I can't wait to see you all in class. It's going to be a great time. I have heard from my beta testing group, over 30 women, that it is pretty darn life-changing. So if you are ready to do that work, let's get going. I'll see you over there, and I'll see you here next week for another episode of Unstuck. Take care.